Welcome back to a, another vlog. We are gonna be going to Rome, Italy. I'm really excited to take you guys along with me and show you guys Rome and how we like it. But before we do that, I have a few housekeeping bits that we have to jump into before we head out. First, I wanna thank everyone who contributed to buying me a coffee. There's a link below in my description box where you as a subscriber can buy me a coffee and I'm gonna be using it towards a nice glass of wine. But a few of you have already donated some money for us to kind of share like a virtual coffee slash wine so i wanted to shout out tandria thank you so much you were the most recent donation you donated i think about three or four coffees thank you thank you thank you i so appreciate that i also want to shout out hope m thank you tandria again chandria dimu paula gary marcia someone and again paula for buying me a coffee i appreciate you guys so so much and i wanted to give you guys your flowers and just share my appreciation so again thank you so so much now our little housekeeping bits i wanted to do a quick kind of like show and tell unboxing from she said yes i did collaborate with them previously they sent me a duplicate wedding ring that i can wear when we go on like salty vacations like beachy vacations and i don't want to take my real ring and kind of you know get that messed up get that stolen or anything like that so they sent me something else which i'm really excited to show you guys this piece i'm actually thinking about stacking with my wedding ring I got this ring piece here, which I think is gonna make a great stacking piece for my wedding ring. Basically, when we get married, I'm gonna have the band. And this is also etiquette, which I have also read about. Supposedly, when you get married now, the band part is supposed to come first because it's supposed to be closest to your heart. And then comes your engagement ring. And then if you have any other stacking pieces that can go on top of the engagement ring. I love, love, love this ring. It's a beautiful stack combo. And I will be leaving all of the information for She Said Yes below my description box if you guys wanna check them out as well. Enough of the housekeeping, let's jump right into our room vlog. When it's cloudy, I don't see you. When it's dark, I lose your spark. Now I don't want to have another moment when you're not around. I know you're my ray of light. Somehow I have lost your sight. I have got mysterious ways to bring you back into my life. Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm super oily, but that is because we just landed and got to the hotel. We're literally waiting now for our room to be ready. We've never actually had this happen to us where we had to wait like the whole time until it was check-in. Um, but yeah, we have to wait quite a while and we have to pay a hefty city tax. So FYI, if you're ever coming to Rome, be aware that per person it's seven euros 50 cents per night just for city tax so we had to pay like 60 euros in total never we travel a lot so we've never had that happen to us um but yeah we're just chilling right now waiting for our room can't even touch up we ran for the bus we got lost in the metro so guys, we finally made it to our room. I'm gonna give you guys, as usual, a small little room tour. They literally had us waiting until the last second to get this room. Like literally, it was like 2.59 and our room was ready. So starting here, this is the front door. There is a floor length mirror here. This was my traveling outfit for the day. I thought we were gonna get here a little bit earlier so that I can kind of keep this on and wear this out, but we're gonna have a shower and then go out to the city. So I'm gonna put on my night outfit, but this is the outfit. It's giving a lot of cleavage, but that's fine. Here is the room. We have a TV. It's really a small tour. There's not much going on here, but I generally do like this room. It's modern compared to a lot of other hotels that I saw on booking, for example. They were really, really old. And then they also cost the same amount. With this hotel, we're at the Clubhouse Hotel Roma. The only thing is that we're a little bit outside of the city, which is fine. We just have to take one train, one metro, and we get into Rome quite easily. And we get a nice little hotel. So there's this side. And then we have the bathroom, 
which is also quite nice, minus the two pieces of hair from the maid that I have found. I'm very, you know, attentive to those little things, but still a very overall clean hotel and clean bathroom, so I'm happy with that. E già da un po' sono in strada con il capo all'insù a guardare verso il cielo e non mi riesce di trovare la luna. Mi viene una gran voglia di chiamarla. Luna! Magari si affaccia. Sarebbe bello, no? Tu la chiami e lei si affaccia. After that amazing dinner, we had probably the best pasta I've ever encountered. We decided to take a little stroll around Rome. As you can see, it's a fully packed city. This is really the city that never sleeps. It is so packed with tourists. The lines as well for some of these restaurants are insane, but they do move fast. We decided to also stop for some drinks at this local bar. It was a really cute spot. They were the only place that was actually playing music, so that's kind of why we went there and we just got some wines and chilled. So guys, we are walking in this very dark alleyway, um, but this seems quite normal for Rome. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see. Good morning guys, we're on our way now to the city. I really hope you guys can hear me. I feel like, I feel like you guys can't hear me. I feel like this is gonna be a voiceover. But anyways, we're on our way to the city. We've gotten dressed. Let me give you guys an OOTD. So day two of our Rome travel was to first stroll through Monti to get some breakfast. While we were strolling, the streets were just so, so beautiful. I had to stop and take some pictures. Literally every corner in Rome, there is somewhere you can take a picture. It's just so stunning. So in the end, we found this spot for breakfast. I'll leave the name of the cafe on the screen, but they had such good food and they also had really, really high ratings on TikTok and Instagram. And I can add to that, the food was really good. Something I did notice about Rome was that they have an obsession with pistachios in almost every type of food. So there was a cannoli with cream and pistachio. We also later on had a pizza with pistachio and don't get me wrong, it tasted amazing. But I'm curious to know what the pistachio obsession is about. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. This, oh my God, it was a specialty for this cafe. It tasted so amazing. I think it was vanilla pudding with strawberries, a little bit of powdered sugar, all stuffed in a croissant it was 10 out of 10. the really nice thing about that cafe is that it's right down the street from the coliseum so you literally can just walk about 10 minutes and you get directly to the coliseum so if you do want to go to that cafe make sure you time yourself when you don't go in peak times because everyone knows about it and it's again right in front of the coliseum seeing history in the flesh like this is like words can't even describe the only thing that I wish would have been different was the amount of tourists because the fences, the people, it somehow is taking away from the site itself, which is so unfortunate to say, but that's honestly how I felt in Rome in general. A lot of the sites, they were kind of like dimmed by just so many people being there and it was a little bit unfortunate, but this is the Colosseum. We had a good time here. We just kind of looked at it. We didn't go inside and then we kind of strolled in the nearby areas. Now this spot is a must see when you go to Rome. It's right by the Colosseum. You just have to walk maybe about 15 minutes and then you have this amazing view. It's a rooftop bar and it's super famous for this outlook, but I will give you a heads up. It's very, very expensive. Like my wine cost 18 euros for one glass of wine, but they did give refill of chips and snacks. So 
I guess that kind of helped. We kind of enjoyed ourselves here. I think it's still a must see, although it could be overrated for some people. If me talking about tourists did not scare you, then welcome to Trevi Fountain. This location was packed ear to ear, neck to neck, back to back with tourists. It was so crazy to even get to this spot. But we got to a spot, we got a coin and we tossed it in the fountain. That was really cute. But then just behind us, there were thousands and thousands of people, which again, kind of put a little hamper on the moment. Did I happen to mention that we went to Rome on Easter weekend? If I didn't mention it, I'm mentioning it now. We are in Rome on Easter weekend and we are also now at the Vatican, which means lines and lines of people. Nevertheless, the Vatican was absolutely an architecture to behold. Honestly, it was really, really cool to see that in person. Fast forward after a long day of sightseeing, we decided to stop in this very special bar. I think it was called the library. It literally was a library inside, but also a bar. You can also get food. We decided to sit outside, enjoy the good weather and have a cocktail. Listen guys, we ate a lot. I'm not even gonna lie to you, we ate a lot. So the next spot after the bar was going to get dinner and we decided to go to this very, very homey restaurant, which was not too far from this bar. And and they had, of course, amazing food, good wine, and we just had a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our Rome vlog.